<laughs> That's what an all, uh, 59 Les Paul's supposed to sound like. <laughs> like <laughs> That's milky, creamy. So, Ed, 59. All right, the 59 Les Paul Custom Shop. This is in the, I love the names of the colors. So this is the double. Uh, yeah, double dirty lemon. Which is a badass color. Which is like, you know, I almost feel bad for saying that on television. <laughs> you know, going to visit, one of the things about us being in such close proximity, <laughs> to Nashville and Gibson Gibson was be able to tour the factories and, and see go pick out guitars and pick on out guitars the spot on the spot picking out guitars and picking out wood you know we spec out guitars we invite customers to do that with us it's awesome it's a great day in Nashville to do it it's and fun. uh you know being able to see and, and what they've done you know for years now they've been reverse engineering these guitars you know because there are still 59s out there and they go back to gibson for things like truss rod replacements and they yeah. realize like oh you know this is something not different you know um and even within the the, the a, a time when specifications were 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 not quite as specific exactly yeah. <laughs> you know because uh the w number of windings on a pickup could be the lifespan of a cigarette <laughs> yeah, yeah. varies from person to person. Gibson still embraces that, that slight variance, you yeah. know. So even in a, a modern C-shaped neck, you know, uh, uh, the C-shape that they're doing in these guitars, slight, slight differences. Yeah. Each one of these things are unique. They're, each one is a unique guitar. Yeah. yeah. And They um, didn't make very many. No. Right? In the first place? Wow. Like 600 or 650, yeah. something like that? Yeah. 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 So... And, and uh, that's pretty amazing. I mean, you think about it, there's people out there trying to hoard these 59s, the original 59s. Yeah. And, you know, they have this dream in their mind that they're going to have all of them. You know, and I'm <laughs> like, come on, man. Some of them are trashed. You're not going to know. Yeah. But anyway, um, this is a essentially exactly like it. You know, it's taken until through a lot of regime changes and it's taken to this last crew that's happening right now that's bringing Gibson back to life to really want to do this the right way. And not to say the R9s and the, old, and the stuff from years past haven't been great guitars, but like now it's a 59, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean the attention to detail from the formulation of the plastic, they found a, a, a supplier that's using the same formula. Um, the Bumblebee uh, capacitors, the hand-wired yeah. harness, the formulation of the finish, um, the, the hardware, the Clouson replica tuners, yeah, you know, I yeah. mean, it's... The long tendon necks, you know, so the neck tendon goes underneath the pickup of the, the neck yeah. pickup. Um, what else? The, the aniline dye that they're using. There is so much that has gone into making these guitars exact replicas. So if you went back in time in a time machine and you bought a 59, it's going to be something like this. And the, the, the beauty of these is that it, it, they just... It's not, I don't know if it's the neck, the fretboard, I don't know what it is, but every one of these that comes in, it, we just keep calling them slinky. They just feel like it's easy to play. And it, like, I don't want to, this is a different guitar, obviously, but when we pick those up, it's like when you grab it, it's like, okay, the neck's cool, but then you start playing it and it's like, boom, it's just like it, it feels like the strings bend easier, it feels like it's, I don't know, they just... In 59, they nailed this thing, yeah. and it, it is what everybody says it is. It There's really a reason is. why we pick a bunch of these up every time we go to the factory. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, Wonderful guitars. Yeah, and the, the top on this, you know, they have two or three gradations at Gibson, and this is, there's a pile for 59s, and it's, and, it, and you know, they, the, the person that is, is um, sorting these is basically sitting there and he's got a, you know, from what I understand, I haven't seen this gentleman do this because <clears throat> he doesn't do it every day, all day. He has other jobs, but he wasn't doing it at the time. But he said he's got pictures of a lot of representations of 59s mm -hmm. and he tries to make sure he picks tops that fit that, that mold. Yeah. You know, and uh, back then they didn't know what kind of finish was going on it. So, you know, it's not like today you pick like a light colored maple top mm -hmm. for this certain color because it's going to, you know, for a blue color. 
and then you pick a dark, you know, a darker maple for a certain color, and it works better. That wasn't the case back then, yeah. so that's why there there are a lot of variances in the colors back then, and that's what they're trying to recreate now. You know, you might get a double dirty lemon here. It might look a little bit different if it's a darker maple, because that's to me that looks like a somewhat of a light colored maple top. You know, the piece of wood. Yeah. Itself, not the not the stain, but it, it looks like it was a brighter. And that's what the majority of the stuff was that was there. Yeah. It was lighter colored maple. But anyway, my 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 point is is that they're doing everything to try to make them just like the fifty nine. Yeah. It, to the the details of of the guitar from the beginning to the end are just unscrupulous. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right word, but I wanted to, I've been wanting to say that for a while. <clears throat> so anyway, go for it. What else you got? Well, you know, using hide glue. All right. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. something that is really uh, something you really uh, hide glue has to be applied when it is hot. All right. It's in a pot. It dries and crystallizes much harder than tight bond and mm -hmm. you know contemporary bonding agents. And that's these are all the little things that add to the sustain of this guitar. <laughs> um, and you know the, the, the just seeing at the factory how much hands so many hands that that. You know, they've reduced the number of people, but the people that are on these guitars, they're working on them a lot. Watching the guy with a uh, wood chisel, you know, fitting the neck to this yeah, guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, how much, you know, Jim DeCarlo has said, you know, yeah, machines great, make great guitar parts, but <laughs> people are the ones who are making these guitars. And um, it's just, it was just an awesome experience to see how, you know, with with those folks at Gibson, there's they're they're focused on the road ahead. They're not looking in the rearview mirror yeah. unless it's to make sure that they're building something that is true to what put them on the map. Yeah, and uh, you know just to make a point there that <clears throat> to work with hide glue, you have to be an extremely experienced luthier. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't be. You don't just walk in and say, "Hey, you're going to start gluing tops and stuff like that." You know, it's with hide glue. Mm -hmm. You're not doing that. This is yeah. years and, and a lot of training from people that have been doing it for a long time. Because if you don't do it quick enough, it sets up on you and you're not going to get a good bond. But if you do it too, it, there's just there's so much that goes into it that a lot of people don't understand why these guitars are as expensive as they are. Yeah, They're, they're expensive, but go play one. I'm yeah. just saying, don't sit here and think that your thirteen hundred dollar guitar is going to feel like this guitar. This has a this doesn't this have a Brazilian fretboard? It does have a, a Brazilian rosewood fretboard, absolutely. And um, you know, like you're saying, special. you're getting the, the the generational knowledge that has been preserved. You know, this you know, in spite of all the th changes that a lot of people are aware of. Yep. You know, it's just a matter of reorganization. Uh, they were able to do what they do better. Uh, yeah, so and really I think there were a lot of people in the organization that have been waiting for this day yeah. to be able to get their voice heard and say, this isn't right, guys, let's do it the right way. Yep. And now their voice is being heard because of the, the, the leadership now yep. is ready to make amazing guitars. So it to me, right now we're in an amazing age of Gibson guitars and, and electric guitars in general. I yeah. mean, acoustic, everything. Yeah. I mean. You know, I'm talking everything from stuff made overseas to the finest custom shop guitars. We're oh. in a fine age of guitar building again, and it feels good to be here because yeah. it's it's inspiring. Yeah. I mean, this guitar, we're going to talk about this on the next video. Um, I bought two of these at the factory when I went, <laughs> and I bought my own, and I relicked it myself. I may, I may try to get it ready for that video, but uh, just for the goof, just yeah. to show it, you know, but, but like... I can't put these guitars down now, you know, and I've got other brands that I can't put down certain models and it's just, it feels great to be a part of it, yeah. you know, so it's exciting. Is that enough? I think that's Let's awesome. hear this thing. Let's right. hear some clean stuff. All right, here we, we go. We heard our incessant noodling at the beginning. Full range guitar, man. <laughs> Play a little bit higher on the neck pickup, clean. <laughs> a 
those harmonics, you know what I mean? You hear that, those harmonics that are playing. The... I hope you can hear that on the video, it's killer. So anyway, we are moreguitars.com, more music in Evansville, Indiana. You can come here, you can play these guitars. We don't let anybody just, we don't let just anybody play them. You gotta be serious. And there's no, nothing's happening to these guitars when people try them out here. We, we, we watch over them with, uh, like they're our children. Uh, better than our children, actually. But anyway, so this is available at moreguitars.com. More music in Evansville, Indiana. This is Edward Sign. I am Brett Malzer. You can talk to Rob, you can talk to Corey, you can talk to anybody here. We are here to help. We're kind of known as the good guys, the people that treat you like family, like old school service. And we want you to know we're here to talk to you about these guitars. And we're excited to be a Gibson dealer again in the right time. So uh, subscribe to YouTube. Make sure you sign up for our daily arrivals email newsletter. Now's the time to sign up because you're going to get all kinds of crazy deals for Christmas and all that stuff. So call us. We're here. Morgan